And we're all very interested in the, the, re the trilogy between you and Pitbull. You know, at first we heard that you weren't that interested, but then recently speaking with Mystic Black, we heard that you are interested in the, the trilogy. What are your current thoughts and what changed? Definite. Um, I think in the heat of the moment, just being a little amped up, um, obviously not being happy with the result. Um, yeah, actually, there was no interest in it for me at that moment. Um, even leading after, up after the first fight, there was no real interest, but obviously him being a champ, uh, give him the respect he deserves and give him honor him with the rematch. So, uh, yeah, now it's my turn. You know, I was the champ. I, I feel I should be honored with my rematch. And that's what I'm looking forward to, you know. And what do you think would be different in the in the third fight compared to the second fight? Oh, I won't go to the judges. Um, there, there was a lot to learn within that fight. Um, yeah, my dad calls it, says it was my biggest. We know I won the fight. But I lost in a different realm. So for me, it's making the correct adjustments to come back properly and fuel the beast, man. This this just add fuel to the fire, you know what I mean? And uh, that's the next step, you know? Just get back in there, get a date locked in, and retrieve my title. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. Kind of, hey. kind of sticking with that fight. Do you think you kind of let him off the hook by not implementing your game as much as you would have liked? Or well, <clears throat> not really, because the game plan was just stay long, point fight. That was, that was the initial game plan leading into the first fight. Was stay long, you know, pick him apart, play your angles on the outside, and uh, allow him to come forward. But obviously, he didn't want to. He was coming forward, but he didn't want to engage coming forward. So um, the next fight, I, I think it's going to look a lot like the first one. Um, I've always felt you need to beat the champ. That I don't feel I was really beaten, but obviously I took an L. So um, yeah, man, just bounce back, stronger, better, and faster. You know, so uh, 145s. I, I can't leave the division on a loss. That's for sure. So um, one and one. Let, let's see. May the best man win. So will, will your future with Bellator depend on that fight in particular, and or you know him coming up to 155 to meet you? Uh, he's not coming up to 55. We all know this. That's that's <laughs> that was why he released the belt in the first place. You know, um, wanted his brother to be a champ. But that's cool to be a champ. You gotta be a champ. So uh, I'm looking forward to being the first champ he fights. Will that be in Bellator or you are eyeing other organizations? We're here at yeah, PFL. I mean, that's that's home. Bellator's home. So definite, definite. Um, I, that's still the goal. I want to be champ, champ. So um, it's. First, first step retrieving the world title back, and then uh, game plan to get that second one. You know, very cool. We saw on social media you post that uh, a photo saying that you're not gonna let uh, any judges to uh, take a decision on your fight. How you handle that to not go into the octagon in a really crazy way, looking for a knockout, looking for a submission, uh, and not get exposed while you take a really dominant win. Um, that just comes from, I feel like, being an experienced athlete. Um, sometimes, you know, you go in there, you go 100 miles an hour, but being able to manage yourself with the adrenaline rush and methodically maneuver through a fight, you know, game plan doesn't always go as game plan. So you got to improvise in that moment. And, uh, yeah, fourth, fourth round, if my dad had told me to rip his head off, I'd have turned up, you know. Obviously, you know, fourth, fifth round, you get a little bit wind, more winded, but... Um, there's, there's just a different beast inside of me, dude. And, and it's a kill or be killed monster. So, like, if my dad had told me in the fifth, you know, that, and it's that's part of the team, you know. We work together as a team. There's lessons for him to learn in that last fight. There's lessons for me to learn in the last fight. Um, but obviously, the biggest lesson is for myself. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to, man, is just coming back stronger and better, you know. This is, this may have been the little fuel that I needed, you know. Um, I mean, I, it wasn't normal AJ out there, you know, but it, it was still a good AJ. It was a good fight. But, uh, nah, I, I want to get back to dominating, you know. Um, don't leave it to the judges. That's, we probably shot grew up on that model, you know. Um, when you're in that cage, it's within your control to capitalize on the, those opportunities, so. You said the Bellator is your home. How do you see the other divisions from uh, PFL, uh, UFC? How do you see that division? How do you, do you think that you can be... You can beat the number one or the champion any time, any day. Definitely. I, hands down, I, I feel I'm the best. Well, I know I'm the best 145er in the world. doesn't matter organization. Um, let's fight about it. <laughs> somebody somebody feels otherwise. Um, I got some bread to put up for it. 
you know, PFL might be open across from us and Bellator is open to it. I don't think Uncle Dana is, but, you know, maybe. We get something going, you know. It, it could it could be a possibility. You know, we got Cyborg, myself. We can get some big stuff popping here in the near future. Who knows? So you'll be more than happy to do a Bellator versus BFL uh, event. Why not? That would be huge. I would be very open to it. I'm sure Scott would be open to it as well. Thank you. Hey, Jay, you had like a long leeway, I think, the first fight to the second fight. Would you rather kind of get in there pretty soon, get a date locked up? Yeah, that's one thing for me It's real big is fight activity. Um, right. Three, four fights a year is ideal for myself. If I'm knocking people out in two minutes, I don't want to wait six, eight months to get back in there. I want to get back in there in two months, you know. Um, at the end of the day, it's how I put the food on the table for my family, for my father, and so forth. Right. So... Um, yeah, if I'm not hurt, put me in there. And even if I'm hurt, I'm still going to go in there. So <laughs> line me up. Like, you're talking about with the cr uh, cross promotion. That would be, you know, huge. And uh, do you feel like you're kind of like the face? You know, you're the face of the Bell Tour 145. And if you guys do this cross promotion course, Cyborg and Caleb would be huge. But do you feel like you would be almost the face of this uh, cross promotion? Um, I don't know. You know, just with the accolades, I, I pay attention to a lot of what people have done. So I, I wouldn't mind fighting under. Kayla and Cyborg, that's just a historic fight, you know, yeah. the accolade Cyborg has under her belt, man. Every organization she's touched, you know what I mean? And to be a victorious champ in every organization, that's unheard of. So I'd be honored to fight under that card. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, um, obviously I'm going to try to come still. So that, that's a <laughs> story. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Lineup don't really matter. Last one for me, uh, Oliveira, half, you know, half pound over. What's your thoughts on that missing weight? <sighs> Champion, Gagey, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, um, it sucks, man, you know, because I've come in point two over before, and you got to go lose that point two. <laughs> and you're already depleted. You're like, oh, you know, it, it's draining. So, uh, man, it, it's a tough situation. Um, but that's the job, man. You know what I mean? Making White's a job. And I know people don't see the backstories that goes into fighters' lives. You know, they just see make weight, a fight, and – what, what, what's portrayed, you know? They don't really get to see what's behind the scenes. And, you know, he may have had some stuff going on at home, dieting, something, you know? It, you, you never really know in the fight game. So, um, yeah, for Gaethje, it's win, win, win. <laughs> for Oliveira, it's win to, to well, you gotta win. <laughs> it's win to win, but uh, yeah, he, you know, I, I think if he wins, I don't know, man. It sucks when you miss weight, because I'm not gonna say it's unprofessional, but, I don't think people know what it goes into actually making weight. You know, I mean, 145. -er. Like, it's not easy, but with the proper techniques, coaching, um, dieting, and so forth, you know, you can do things the easy way. So, uh, for him, you know, keep your head up, bounce back. You know, hopefully, hopefully, we'll go out there and put on a good show still. You know, so. Appreciate hey, you. <clears throat> there was some talk about that situation with the uh, scale being off. Uh, by a half pound. <clears throat> Did you hear that? And have you ever encountered anything like that in your career? The scale in the back being different than the official one? Well, every scale is different. So, I mean, I can see that, but that's the thing, man. Weight's tricky, you know? Like I said, I came in 0.2 over once. That's 0.2. <laughs> I can cut my hair off and I'm on weight, you know what I mean? But, like, it's that much of a difference. I can't, can't really speak upon a, a situation like that until you're in it, you know what I mean? And Speaking from experience of being point two over, it's it's rough, you know, when you're already down and you're there. And it's like, man, I got an hour, and I got half a pound. Like, dude, I've sat in the sauna once for an hour and didn't lose anything. So it's like, you know, sometimes, you know, you just got to dig deep. Um, yeah, and hats off to him, you know. But got to make weight. That's that's the fight for me. I know once I make weight, fight's fight's fun part, you know. I, that's why I call it cage my play. Go out there and play. It's fun. It's like art for me. And you said after your last fight that, you know, you couldn't go back down to 45s because you get angry. You know, the family doesn't exactly yeah. like. Was there anything that happened that particular week? Like, no, I just know I'm like... an asshole when I cut away. <laughs> okay. I mean, you lose 30 pounds and see what type of mood you're in. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going to be happy to train two, three times a day, running every day, and then I got to deal with my dogs. I got to deal with my brothers. It's just like. A lot, and then you got to deal with my dad telling me when I have a shitty practice. I know I had a shitty practice. You don't have to tell me, you know. But it's like you know, it's all for the, the big picture, and uh, you know that's what I'm proud. I got a team that really makes me take accountability of when I'm in the wrong, um, self-reflecting, and so forth. So big key on body shot, man.
Hey, Jay, good to see you again. Uh, you mentioned how important staying active is. What do you think of the PFL season structure and knowing when your next fight is, uh, win or lose, kind of in that regular season portion? I kind of like it because um, it's a set structure. It's like a, it's like a sport. It's, it's a season. It's making it a sport. Um, I like that. You know exactly when you're fighting. You know what to expect. You know, it's a job. You know what you have to do. You know your date. You know who you're battling, and you know what to prepare for. So uh, I like that aspect of it. It's cool. Hopefully it's just not doing so snowboarding season. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Snowboarding's the go-to. That I had to cut my last snowboarding season short for this fight. So it's like little things like that. You know, I'm enjoying a little vacation time, and then oh, call me with a fight. I mean, I should, well, what's up? I'm gonna fight, but obviously I want to enjoy snowboarding. Where's your favorite place to board? Big Bear, dude. Cali Native all the way. Bear Mountain. It's it's a small mountain, but features are awesome. It's a great mountain mountain range. Um, I'm looking forward to getting up to Tahoe. I've been to, uh, where did I go to? Utah. I was in Utah. Yeah. It's out there, Bear, or not Bear, uh, Bright. Bright was fun. I broke myself. <laughs> Woo! Now, have you been to Breckenridge yet? No. You gotta go to Breckenridge. I haven't been to Park City. I haven't been anywhere really. A lot of my, my seasons have been real short snowboarding. Like, this is technically only my second year snowboarding, and I probably haven't even done 100 runs yet. Like, I'm probably, like, close to maybe yeah. 100, maybe, but no. Nah. I genuinely love, besides snowboarding, fast cars, fighting, and guns. That's, that's AJ McKee all the way, the mercenary. Put it on your bucket list. Do you get to do it? I got a bucket list. Do you get to do any shooting while you're uh, down here in Texas? No. No, not yet. I actually want to go boar hunting out here. Oh. That's out here pretty big, right? Yeah. They pay you to go bust at some boars? Oh, yeah. Let's go. In there. Cha ching. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Kyle on Zoom. Hey, Jay, thanks for taking the time, man. You got this PFL shirt on. Are you trying to give us a little bit of a spoiler here? <laughs> yeah, no, to man. Us a little bit of a message here? No, not at all, man. I just I just finished supporting two friends, uh, cornering, so. You know, I'm, what am I supposed to walk in here with a Bellator shirt on? The disrespect, like, I'm in these people's houses, you gotta be respectful, man. I'm all about the respect. <laughs> no, we love that. And uh, you mentioned, you know, clearing out the lightweight, you know, maybe taking out that Pitbull name if you won the featherweight title, which, you know, 99% of us thought you won. Do you still want to go lightweight, or you just feel like you need to go back to featherweight and get you thrown back? Um, currently, I, I, I have unfinished business at 145 pounds, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, retrieving my 145 pound title again, and then obviously moving up to 155 pounds. Um, that's been my key, you know, I want to be a champ champ. Before Connor did becoming a champ champ, before Patricio, like, you go back to interviews 2015, I, I've said it, I'm going to be a champ champ. So. Um, for me, my aspirations and goals in life, um, my next step, well, I'm back to step one, which is retrieve my title, and then it's going to be champ champ again. So those, those are my next two steps, you know. Uh, hopefully we can get it worked out here and uh, get this 145-pound this title back on my, around my waist before the year is over.